repeat like, and then like repeat a puzzle. It. Yeah. Totally true. I'm giving to them every every training one pieces, one pieces, one pieces, one pieces. And end of the season they are met to uh, get together all pieces and they can see the old picture. Very nice picture. Okay, game is let's beginning. go into the game. Triton Maroon against Perth Raiders. So the Czech Republic against uh, Australia. What's your guess uh, about this game, Tarkan? Quick estimation. Um, uh, actually, Triton will be uh, looking more strong. Will be dominated, yep. yeah. Yeah, dominate yeah. the game. And they have more experience probably yeah. than uh, the Perth Raiders. So let's see. We but are Australia is uh, getting improved. Yes, a lot, a lot. And they, you know they love it. They come far away and uh, they, they try to learn as much as they can. So we have now the first attack on the basket, yeah, of the yeah. Australians. And what I told you. That's exactly. The, the experience they put into and the push they have bodily, the physical yeah. push they put into it and score. So the first uh, goal after less than one minute. Um, not a surprise, like we said, Czech Republic, they have a, a quite a history in underwater mm -hmm. rugby and uh, they are physically strong um, to push that forward and they like to fight uh, boot-wise too, all these guys are really like, they like it when, it when it's physically. So uh, here we go, uh, Perth Raiders have the ball and they try to push through the uh, through the offense, defending through the fall catching of uh, Triton Baru. They do quite a good job, even though it's a little bit chaotic in the middle and it's uh, supported by the camera. We have a call from the referees. Oh, sorry, didn't forget, did Attack forget to switch on. Free throw Without against Triton. Wide free throw. So the, the, I think the best chance for uh, uh, Australia would be a swim uh, more than the Triton guys and don't let them get close enough to go in a one-on-one -on -one fight because this, I think, uh, Australia will always lose in a one-on-one -on -one, but it will be difficult to prevent that uh, when you try to score in the basket area of Triton Baru. And there you have to go and get physical and this is something I think uh, an advantage to Triton Baru. But nevertheless, uh, the good thing is about Australia, they don't have the respect of a, of a history playing against uh, European teams. They go in here and do their best because they, that's what they're here for. And they don't have the respect from uh, prior experiences. So Triton has a ball and they are walking their way at the wall into the corner to their Australian basket and establishing their attacking pattern and their attacking pattern is go in and score. <laughs> it's just relentless. But nevertheless, uh, Australian player succeeded in snatching away the ball and uh, there's now a fight, a cluster on the surface, ball thrown down by a Triton Baroon player and uh, they are again in the corner of the Australian team. Uh, they are using just in the corner right now. Yeah. So they build and up and taking testing. Now taking center. Uh, turning back. Now attack is coming. But still. Part Raiders attackers in front of the ball. It's like it's like testing. It's like uh, swinging around, yeah. looking how is the but defense they racing. Lost, they lost lost the ball. Yeah, very well played by Australia. And now is a well chance. Australia is coming a little bit slow. They have to be more fast, and shouldn't miss. Stay far away the goal. Yeah, and they shouldn't go they in have alone. They enter the goal. Yeah, and not alone at least. The place. Too. Yeah, they have to uh, get inside the behind attack. Uh, exactly. Defender. Yeah, be there before the uh, uh, yeah. the defense is there. And uh, Triton Baroon uh, recover the ball and is now going for the. Australian basket again and they take their time they don't uh, hurry up because they rely on their uh, physical superiority I think in this case and uh, they just wait they build their attack from the corner from the close side and wait for the for the spot and now they go in here they are one uh, going from the top and they are passed to the uh, to the open side and play waiting there and again from the top over to the close side but uh, tackled away 
all the attacks by uh, the Australian players. Very well defended. But now we have a, a gap oh, here. There's no goalkeeper. Basket. That would be a chance. And one of the Triton players tried to steal away the basket. Didn't succeed. Very well defended right now uh, from uh, yeah. Australia. They're doing quite quite everything they should to prevent what uh, what Triton Baroon can do uh, to score. And uh, I don't know how many uh, international uh, experienced players we have in uh, uh, with the Australian team. Ah, here we have the next score. Yeah. It's, it's, it's something you learn by experience um, to, to read the game and to know Four when there is a chance eight. building up and going the right moment in. Otherwise, uh, you always play and play and play, but don't, but don't change. So uh, experience is not only experience to, to uh, play yourself, but to read the game of the, of the other team and to see where there are the weak spots building while you build your attack pattern. Yeah, uh, actually read the game, this duty belong to attackers first yes. of all. Yes, here we are, yeah. yeah. Because uh, goalkeeper and defender should do the thing first of all, the goal. Yeah. Uh, they are diving Google. first of all. Player uh, number 13. In front of the goal and up the goal. Then. Blue goal, uh, player number 13. But also, thank you so much. And also, when when the teams get attacked and other White teams side, time out. Uh, goalkeeper can see, goalie can see the old game because yes. stay behind the old yes. game. So to, to understand the game and to react yes. as a team takes a lot White. of experience. Yes, and at when. Uh, when you get attack, and the attack tactics dominate the uh, from the defense because defense defense players taking the center of the game. Yep. Yes. And the the thing is, you have All to learn ball transfer is um, defender is doing. Yep. And the thing is, you have to learn all this outside the water because you cannot talk inside the water and that's that's a real difference to all to many other teams you cannot scream to each other go to the right or here i am yeah. it's it's it has to be intuitive what we do in the game then so the timeout i think from the perth raiders in this case triton uh, i don't think triton uh, was necessary for them to take a timeout they seem quite confident and they were leading a 3-0 10 seconds um, after, I guess, <coughs> less than uh, four minutes into the first half. So two minutes, uh, no, seven minutes already uh, over. So it's two minutes 50 left in this first half. And it's a 3-0. Pat lost ball again. But take it back. That's good. Got good reaction so fast. Yeah. And Triton again tried to build the attack from uh, wall side, but lost the ball again. And I'm impressive because yep. the Pirate Raiders improved themselves and they're playing well. They are helping each other more. Yes, and they're really, so nice. really quick to intercept the game of yeah. uh, Triton Baroon. Um, I saw them uh, intercepting and snatching away passes uh, many times. Yeah. And that's something against such an experienced team. That's that's quite a feature. I can I can see it uh, from the part uh, when teams begin to play on the water rugby, new beginners, and they hold the ball all the time the sh under the shoulder or uh, close the body. Yes. But mm, when the players that take more experience, they begin to uh, begin to uh, play with ball, the more open. More open. Uh, yeah. If you play the ball more open Blue goal, uh, player open number hand. 13 and uh, that game is playing more fast yeah absolutely but you have to rely on being having a station to pass to of course yeah. let, let's think about it you are defender i'm defender and i can see to you and uh, you have a ball but you open your hand and that's actually you are giving to gi give to me signal and uh, i want to give the pass let's yeah. come to me yeah yeah 
if you hold the ball, you close the ball, cover the ball, that's meaning uh, I want to fight somebody. Yeah, 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 there's no flow, there's no yeah. direction in it. Yeah. It's just static holding. Yes. When the players, they open a hand and uh, giving the old uh, sign of the old his team players yeah. and say, let's play fast. True, yeah, totally true. So it's a 4-0 uh, for uh, Triton Baroon. Lucidro. And we have uh, 42 seconds, 40 seconds left in this first half. Uh, Perth Riders can be quite uh, uh, content with their, uh, with their game. They, they do their best and they annoy uh, Triton Baroon. Even Triton Baroon is winning this game and yeah. probably will win this game. But it's a, uh, it's a solid game we see from the Perth Raiders. And they, uh, they succeed in uh, interrupting the game of uh, Triton even oh though they don't score. Oh, coming. They run no. the basket nice. and very well tackled away by the Perth Raiders. And here we go, first half yeah, is over and it's half. a 4-0. Mm, I have to open Ten my five. phone. <laughs> half time. So what do you do, um, another interesting question I have for you, Tarkan, what do you do on land uh, training? What do you recommend your players to do on land outside the water? Uh, actually, my big guys, they doing six days per week, CrossFit. CrossFit training is, is okay? Yes. And but just on the CrossFit, it's not enough, I think. I think so coach, too, I yeah. Can say that. yeah. And they have to um, do more okay. cardio. Yes. And also, uh, sometimes they are uh, they are doing training for the, no the quick man. moving. With okay. ball, without ball, dribbling, yeah. uh, with ball dribbling, without dribbling, and something like this. Yeah. But they are making so much crossfit, and crossfit is more matching the the training. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, with uh, in our game style, it's more high intensity uh, yeah. than just lifting weights because it's more it relies on more fast repetitions with high weights. That's the difference. What we do in the water there yeah. for 15 minutes. Because you you know, yeah, 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 I want to say one thing. And for example, the soccer, soccer, it all soccer players using just only leg. Yes. Of course, all body the physical power is so important for the moving, but leg is important, but in our game, in our sport, and all body should be power. Yes, powerful. Yes, exactly. The whole body, because yeah. we move in all dimensions, yeah. and that's that's not possible in any other sports where you and only also run. Stretching also so important. Yeah, Sometime flexibility and uh, mobility. Yeah. Sometimes uh, some players is try uh, come to our training and try the underwater rugby, but uh, when I saw them, oh, this guy is so huge. Mm -hmm. If yeah, he no. can play underwater rugby, it will be nice, but. You know, he's like a rock. Yeah. And yeah, I yeah. put the water, he's getting <laughs> down and cannot move. Yeah, it's true. He, he tried to turn the left side to the right side, but in the season is changing, you know? <laughs> the sun gets down. <laughs> but it's totally true. We have a really big, strong guy, and if he's close to the basket, he scores. But uh, we have a, a small, fast guy, and he's swimming around this big guy five yeah. times until he realizes he's protected. So it's flexibility and strength in the combination is something that makes a good player that I totally agree with and uh, we had Christian Schaefer at the Underwater Rugby Academy and he told us he's doing yoga now because to do the stretch moves and to move his whole body and make it flexible. Say one more time, Christian Schaefer Christian is doing, doing yoga. yoga. Yes. I want to see that. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go back in the game. It's the second half here of uh, Triton Baroon from the Czech Republic in blue uh, against the Perth Raiders from Australia second in white. Begin. 4-0 lead for Triton. Good start from the pair. Nice stay down. The big close. Now the help is come so fast. It's nice. Yeah. Take ball. Now Pert is doing attack. We have some Turkish players. Uh, 
in the chat here. And uh, now uh, uh, the, the Australians really try to get under the basket of Triton Baroon and try to establish some kind of attack on the goalkeeper. But they, it's really difficult to pass through these big guys blocking their way in the defense. And, uh, but nevertheless, uh, Australia is holding on to the ball in this, uh, in this second half, in the beginning of the second half. But uh, here we go, they lost the ball while I'm telling you they are holding <laughs> on to the ball. Um, uh, I have an idea, I actually. I'm thinking all the time same thing. And uh, For example, in a few seconds before, I saw the Perth attackers lying, all probably goalkeepers yeah. lying in, uh, near the basketball. And the players stayed m so far away from the goal. Yeah. Should they enter? Because uh, when they met with the ball, uh, turn face to to goal, and there is a distance, and a uh, defender can enter this empty place and block it. And yep. they, yeah, can block. And therefore, uh, players shouldn't afraid be the contact. Mm. That's true. Yeah, Ooh, that's true. Nice goal. Yeah, that was, was very well, very strong into the... That's this moment where they just go in. It's like uh, unstoppable because the, the players already see the ball in the basket and you cannot stop someone who already envisioned uh, he scores. That's, that's a very nice feature and very well done by Triton. And it's 5-0 uh, now for uh, uh, Triton Baroon in the second half here, uh, Australia against Czech Republic. picture <laughs> so Triton is again going uh, for the basket of Australia and it's uh, it's always when they attack like that it's it's quite a question of time before uh, they will uh, they will score So, uh, um, again, Triton is, is not like uh, they, they push themselves uh, like crazy, but they do their game. They have their own speed and they, they proceed. And when they proceed, they are quite <laughs> unstoppable. But uh, Australia is uh, trying to, to beat them with speed and with a... Uh, with a with fast thinking in the game, and they succeeded in the several situations to go forward, and that's quite impressive. So really good game here from Australia. Okay, Miss Bamberg, Attila Bey. And uh, here, uh, Australia even breaks into the half of uh, Triton Baroon, but is uh, stopped. And it's the movements of Triton Baroon are just like giving the ball, boom, I got it. <laughs> it's, it's really like you hear the sound of beers like, mmm, mine. <laughs> it's funny to see. And uh, here we go, Triton Baroon, even on the, oh uh, my almost God. on the empty basket. That was close, but... Uh, How can possible? That should be have been uh, <laughs> quite a goal. Um, but very well, uh, uh, in the last second, uh, uh, going in defense and blocked the throw of the Trishan Peru player swimming into the swimming into the basket. And uh, now from the open pool side on the bottom, Triton players are uh, slowly waiting, holding the ball, waiting for these teammates to catch air and And going into the position here, they're positioning them. Uh, yeah, here we are already. Already another goal. So it's a 6 0. We have five minutes to play. Player number 13. Yeah, and you see the Triton, uh, no, the, the Australian players, they are exhausted. Uh, the goalkeeper, the female goalkeeper, she's holding her head and she is uh, hurt a little bit. It's it's physical game. It's not they uh, play to hurt these uh, Czech guys, but they play physically. They go in with force and with mass. And uh, that could, if you're in the way, you could feel that. 
So, Australia in ball position, going in, uh, but Long interrupted, ball. lost the ball, recovered by Australia again. And they try to break through the offense uh, nice. of uh, Triton, and they do it with agility and speed, and they succeed even, and we're now at the basket of Triton Beru. But there, that's the dangerous zone when you play against these guys. They are just, uh, their reach is, is very, very good, and they yeah. are uh, almost unstoppable in this, in this area. And you cannot uh, easily overrun them. Okay, thank you, Tarkan. You're welcome. <laughs> See I you later. Again later. Thank you very much. Okay. So um, Perth is already under attack. And another goal for Triton Baroon here in the basket of the Perth Raiders. And uh, I think uh, the, the, the Australians have enough now and they would love to, to have a break. Lorena, could you please take over for a second? All right, so here we are. Was eating a little bit, and now um, I'm back here. Mm. Uh, let's see what did I miss. A carrying one, I don't know for how much. Uh, and now we have Triton and uh, Bird Riders playing 7 0, a strong Czech team uh, against the Australians. So let's see. We are now on the basket of the Australian, and the Czech are attacking, trying to. Uh, but what was a great defense from the uh, Australian guy? Sadly, he lost the ball, and now is the attacker one on one with the goalkeeper, pull him aside. But uh, the another um, Australian player just made it on time to pull the ball away. And now, even if the basket is alone, the ball is in possession of uh, Australia that is swimming a counter-attack, but almost lost the ball. Now it's two guys swimming a counter-attack, arriving into the Czech uh, goalie and uh, being completely stopped like, by a wall of Czech guys. Uh, Seal ball is in possession, I mean, Australia is in possession of the ball, but it's this guy, the captain, is just alone and uh, was tagged away by one of the Czech players. Still in a close corner, mm, the ball is still in possession of the Australian guys, but not fully into um, control. And now they're trying to build up a wave, but the check uh, for checking has uh, been really good and disrupt uh, these attempts to attack by the Australian team. Now they're at the bottom of the pool trying to swim a counter attack. Uh, the Czech guy is still alone, two Australians are trying to intercept and uh, didn't achieve that. So um, we are two meters away from the Australian basket. The Czechs are trying to build up a wave. Uh, they're in the close corner. We have uh, just the one attacker with the ball coming onto the defender. The goalie uh, is being attacked now from the close corner. A pull up and the ball is inside the basket eight goals for the check but they have to fight i mean i, I, I haven't seen much of the, of the game 10. but uh, it, it wasn't really uh, an, an fast uh, goals every time uh, they have to to f uh, really fight in the pool and uh, also at the basket i mean i think australia is doing a great job considering the jet the jet lag and also that they don't have that much international experience. So let's see, they're already fighting in the middle of the ball, for checking, trying to uh, get the ball. But, well, game is over. 8-0 for the uh, Czech team, the Triton Baron. And... Uh, Australia, well, great job. We congratulate both of the team for a, for a great match. We are look, we're really um, watching great underwater rugby.